Meanwhile, Ole Miss four days away from their opener, but still no closer to naming a starter. Lane Kiffin said today, we're not holding anything back. They're both even. We'll just have to wait until Saturday to see who gets the nod against Troy. Maybe so, but time is of the essence. Steve, who should start for Ole Miss? <laughs> Oh, that's a, that's a pressure question there, Wendy. I'm going to let Lane Kiffin <laughs> handle that one. But I think what's tough for, for Ole Miss fans is the last time they saw Luke Altmaier was a bad situation. You know, Corral gets hurt in the bowl game, and he got thrown to the Wolves against that Baylor defense. And the fans want everybody to see, you know, the new guy, the new guy in town, Jackson Dart. I also think Lane's petrified of seeing one of these guys transfer. It would be Dart's second time doing it. So I think maybe Jim Harbaugh started something. Play both guys and see what happens. I think the schedule uh, lets it happen with a, with a month to go with, before they get tested. So I, I trust Lane Kiffin when it comes to quarterbacks. Steve, you took the words right out of my mouth. Okay, take, I think they should take the, the take the Michigan approach, right? You start one week one against Troy, and then you maybe start Altmaier week one, start Dart week two against Central Arkansas, then see who you need to start when you play Georgia Tech. I, I don't know, and I think and I do respect Lane Kiffin's approach because oftentimes when you have quarterbacks who are transferred in, all of a sudden if one gets benched, they may want to leave, which I don't blame them, and so uh, I, I don't know what Lane Kiffin's going to do, but whoever, whoever starts that that offense, I think is going to be, it's going to excel because we know how high power that offense can be. Listen, and you're, you're both right. This transfer portal has changed the way coaches have to manage their rosters, especially quarterbacks. Those yeah. two, by the way, combined for 439 career snaps. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.